Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Stephen Roman of Heart Gold. How are you? I'm very well, thanks Tracy. How are you doing? Fantastic. And could, let me start by saying congratulations on your news. You uh, both, you put out your Q1 results and you also announced that you hit high grade south of sugar zone. Tell us all about it. Let's start with your, uh, your high grade announcement, please. Okay, uh, just for uh, our shareholders and investors, of course, uh, we do a lot of exploration at uh, Heart Gold around the Sugar Zone mine. And uh, we've been extending the deposit from an initial uh, small resource of about 100,000 ounces. We're now getting close, I would say, to 2 million ounces, and that's been done along a 5-kilometer strike length. So this latest discovery is now south of the Sugar Zone, uh, in a we call the uh, the upper zone of of the of the actual sugar zone deposit, and uh, it's an area that hadn't been previously drilled. So this this extends the ore body 200 meters further south, which uh, again is going to have the potential to add a significant significant amount of new ounces to our resource. Okay, so let's talk about the resource. Of course, you're one of Ontario's uh, newest gold producers, and for all of you out there in the cannabis market seeking to get into gold, can you give us kind of an overview on how you're producing right now? Just kind of hit the highlights that you had in your Q1 results. Okay, so uh, we declared commercial production in January uh, this year. And of course, we started the operation in the in the depth of the winter at 45 below zero. We had a few little startup issues, not the least of which was uh, just getting our labor uh, on board and uh, and having enough people to do the work. But uh, we're, we've been ramping up now over the over the last quarter, and March was our best month because we had the equipment and the, and the people to do the work. And now uh, we're meeting our targets. We put a feasibility study uh, latter part of 2018, and we're now, you know, uh, basically tracking that feasibility study, and uh, we announced that uh, last night in our quarterly report. Okay, well, that's super exciting, and normally I don't talk to people about their financings. Uh, we usually uh, just let get people excited and then they start doing the due diligence and then obviously you can read about it. But the way your debt financing was beautifully done. Uh, would you mind giving us a bit of an update and explain how that provides an advantage for shareholders of Heart Gold, please? Uh, our previous financing uh, was two components. One was a facility with Sprott resource lending and the other was a bridge financing with Appian Capital. Uh, so what we've done with this new financing arrangement is we've made a deal with a, a tier one bank, uh, being BNP Paribas, French bank. They're heavily involved in the mining sector, and it significantly reduces our interest costs and it stretches our amortization payments. So it makes it much more flexible from our point of view as a gold mining company to be able to service the debt and uh, still provide shareholders with, of course, free cash flow that can be used to continue to expand our body. And of course, Stephen, you're very well known in the resource industry. Can I uh, get a, some feedback from you on what's happening with gold, with all the, uh, the rising tensions between uh, the United States and China? Do you see us uh, finally getting the gold bull market uh, hopping the, the pond from Europe and North America? Well, the gold sector has, of course, uh, you know, been consolidating here, I would say. It's been trading between twelve fifty and $1,300 an ounce U.S. for some time now. I think uh, generally most gold bugs uh, feel that price is going to be going much higher. Uh, right now, as far as we're concerned, uh, $1,300 is a pretty good gold price, particularly in Canadian dollars. That gives us about $1,700 Canadian uh, per ounce, our costs are in Canadian dollars, and we receive revenue in U.S. dollars. So, I mean, from our point of view, it'd be great if the gold price went higher. I think it would uh, get a lot of people back into the gold market, maybe taking some profits off the table from cannabis, putting it back in the mining sector. We are still depressed, I would say, as a sector, mining, mining 
uh, companies, not just gold, but uh, across the whole gambit. So what should we, in addition to being very optimistic, at least we are at Investor Intel, about what's happening in the gold market this fall, can you tell us what we should expect as shareholders of Heart Gold in, well, say, the I, next quarter or two? Forgive me. Tracy, uh, you know, right now our focus is to continue ramping up operations. There's a lot of underground development needs to be done at the Sugar Zone Mine. That'll move us up to that 800 ton per, per day uh, level of mining. Uh, that's going to really get us into a profit situation. So next year, we're expecting to produce a very nice uh, free cash flow. Uh, this year is a, is a development year for the company. And of course, we would like to continue working on exploration. We feel the property's got a lot of potential for additional discoveries. We found 2 million ounces there. There's no reason why we can't find another 2 million ounces there. So I think uh, right now the sector's depressed. The share price is depressed. We've just refinanced. We've come out with a new, uh, you know, mine production plan that uh, gives uh, shareholders a good view on the growth of the company going forward. Well, as always, Stephen, thank you so much for joining us today. And congratulations, congratulations on your news release today. Thank you very much, Tracy.